In this video, we will create an important structural feature of the adaptive template, creating the viewport dynamic panel. We will learn a little about how we will use this to facilitate interaction across the views. OK, we will not be using pages in the conventional way for our design. This is because you cannot animate transitions between pages. Actual prototypes are just HTML and CSS and JavaScript. So when you link to a new page, you get a standard page reload. Dynamic panels lend themselves much better to transitions between conceptual pages. As such, the prototype will exist only in one Axia page. First, let's drag out a dynamic panel in our base view. This will be our viewport. Think of this as the window of visible objects. This will allow us to scroll and manipulate the various menu and content features which sit behind. We may also modify this depending on the device that we plan to test on. Our viewport will be sized as per our typical device for the base view, 320 pixels by 480. Let's name this panel viewport. Let's go to our medium view. Here you can see the panel has been inherited with the same dimensions as base. Let's resize this to 560 pixels wide. Let's set a height of 896 to maintain a fairly typical tablet aspect ratio of 5 to 8. And to the large view, we will set it to a width of 960. We'll set a height of 2500 pixels. This just needs to be big enough to accommodate all the content that we create vertically.